for the Crossbred Guild offering. It's our first pin here, uh, lots 25 and 26. Going to start with the 13 letter guilt. Will be the belted guilt there. Uh, uh, she would be sired by the Young Love boar, which would be the feral hog that's had an extremely good run for us uh, uh, this summer, as well as many others, and uh, one that's been on uh, uh, very high demand for us at the boar stud, but uh, one we need to use and have used quite a bit. Uh, heavy skeleton kind of a guilt with a very immature kind of a look. Feet and legs are good. Uh, one that's square coming, square going, uh, gives you an immature enough kind of a look, but still has that shape and muscle. Proportions are good, uh, and I think a guilt that uh, has a very high ceiling. A mother would be a bucket list sky wire dj moyer goes back to some of our good stuff there and uh, uh we think uh, that this line of hogs have fed extremely well but you punch a little more structure a little more hair a little more density in them which this guilt does we think of a very good kind of a guilt that uh, could fit in that market setting could fit in the breeding setting just i think will feed extremely well and, and can be fed however need to and have a a very high uh, uh high expectations for that guilt to be a generator at the same time 24-4 is the Calico Guild, and that would be a, a guild, uh, a sow that we own with Austin and Bree. Mother would be a dirty, hairy bucket list. She sired by Be Nice that was at Wintex is there uh, that uh, uh, got a few sows here in Michigan with the Threes Company. And uh, one that's uh, incredibly good about her hip and hind leg. She's a, a high-headed kind of a guilt that still has some uh, dimension working in her in the center part of her body. Another one that uh, offers some extension up front and length of body, but still has that muscle you like to see and can be fed into the market. Market, breeding setting, whatever you need to do. I think one that's going to maintain mobility look. Uh, got a really awesome tail set in terms of levelness and the way she uses her hip and hind leg. We think one that uh, that gives you that, that right kind of look and can be fed as a 300 plus breeding guild or you can get her into the 280 market guild and not worry about that. I think she'll maintain her, uh, her composition the way she is and be an easy, easy feeding kind of a guild.